red line. Look at it. It's good. You know, being a former player and a coach, I know what bothers coaches. And, you know, we want to execute. Like, we have a system. We want to execute the system. And I teach a lot of NHL guys now. Uh, and every, you know, I have a lot of video from, of every guy, and every guy has his own uh, strengths and weaknesses. And we kind of enhance the strengths and work on the weaknesses. And the first thing I look at when I watch a video is contact. You know, because the concussion is the big injury in our game. It's the thing that's talked about. It. It's the thing that parents worry about, which I understand. Um, so we work on how to absorb force, what that means, how to how to see contact coming. Right. So most of the parents uh, of the younger kids, uh, I think, appreciate it because they know I'm trying to help their son and, and keep him safe. At the end of the day, um, we have a we have a contact game. You know, we have to try and minimize it. I'm not going to, but if I was going to punch you right there, what would you do in real life? Yeah, you'd flinch. You'd flinch, right? You'd flinch. So if I'm going against the boards here, I'm going to pass the puck and I see Hulk coming. I'd pass, I'd flinch, protect myself. So when you look at, when you look at my neck, my neck actually goes that way. If I just stood there and tried to take the hit with fourth, my head would go that way and boink off the glass. Your head should never hit the glass, ever, if you see it coming. Uh, growing up, my dad was from England. He was a soccer player. And, you know, they don't score a lot of goals in soccer. They control the ball. And so that became kind of our family mantra. Like, I was going to be a guy that controlled the puck and distribute the puck to his wingers. And uh, as you get older and older, you know, you become the mark man on a team. And the other team's kind of focusing on you. So you, at an early age, you're learning how to handle that responsibility. And you, you know, it just it grows your skill sets, right? And, and how to avoid contact, what that means, and, and still produce, right? And the best player I saw at it was Wayne Gretzky. And you know, the best, when you watch the best players, whether it's uh, uh, Ryan Suter, one of the best defensemen in the world, he makes the game look easy, right? And he plays 30 minutes a night and he doesn't take contact. Well, there's reasons why he doesn't. That's why, and that's why he's so good. Really what I do right now, uh, I work out of a rink here in Tuckahoe, New York, and it's a, a small private rink, which is perfect, because what we do, it's not practice. It's not. There's no whistles. It's more cerebral. It's more talking about your game, thinking about your game, growing your game. Um, but in terms of a skill, yeah, there's some drills that are pretty universal, where whether you're 10 years old or you're Mark Shifley, you know, and to me, the 10-year-old has the advantage. He's getting to learn it at an early age, right? So he should be better at it. Um, as you get older, you gotta you know, be able to move still and, and continue to, to, I don't want to say catch up, but continue to um, grow as a player. And uh, you gotta continue to get better and better, especially as you get older. Um, gotta continue to work on things and prolong your career as much as possible. You know, there's there's a technique for everything. Taking a face off, there's a technique. Picking the puck up around the boards, there's a technique. See, passing it to your partner on on his tape, there's a technique to that, and you just executed the system. So, you're, you're, so to me, that means your IQ did his job. If you bobble it, then you didn't. And, the, and to me, that's, I, I call that IQ. You know, like for example, one of the things, we, a drill we do, like, you know, you throw, throw a puck against the boards. It can bounce 50 different ways. So as a player, I want you to be able to react to 50 different ways. So it's kind of boring, but you know, you work one hour with me, you got 23 hours to entertain yourself for the rest of the day. But we're gonna work on all those bounces that you can handle in your corner. And if you get good at that, you're gonna be able to play in our league. And if you're in our league, then you're gonna get more ice time and more money and, that, and have a better success. Good one? Make sense? <laughs>